Okay, so I know you guys have been waiting for the flight footage from uh, my Acrobrat build uh, that I put a video out a while back, and it's, it's been built and I've been flying it, and uh, I've been sort of like debating what I should do about this build because um, I'm not quite, I'm not really that impressed with the performance of the way I put these components together. It has a lot to do with the weight of the whole craft, and I'll show you that here in a second. And I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna eventually have to change these motors out because I think these are a little bit too weak for the weight. I put these um, HGLRC 1407 3600 kV motors on here, and I probably should have gone with either a higher kV 1407 or maybe like a 1408, like a 4100 kV, something like that, or maybe even a 1506 or 1507 motor, something bigger because this thing is pretty heavy. So I initially tried to fly it with this uh, Tattoo 854 cell, and yeah, it was very, it was very sluggish. It's just the overall weight is, is is a lot, so I ended up trying uh, instead this GNB 554s battery, got the weight down and it it flew better. And that's the demo that you're going to see is this battery in the flight demo. It does fly uh, better, but the flight times are uh, quite a bit shorter. I was only getting like two two and a half minutes of flight time on that 550, uh, whereas a lot of other three inch micros I can get quite a bit more flight time, double even more sometimes, depending on how I'm flying. And I wasn't really doing that much high throttle maneuvers, doing some acro, not a whole lot. So I think that, you know, with the frame being heavy and then adding all of these you know, TPU parts here, the feet, uh, bumpers here, and then uh, this little antenna mount in the back here. I am running on uh, the uh, R9 system, the R9 mini receiver with the uh, uh, 900 megahertz dipole antenna in the back here. Um, but just let me just give you an idea of what the weight difference here is between something that does fly well on this motor. So this is the same motor, it's just in blue in color, it's the HGLRC motor. Uh, it's the same 1407-3600 kV motor on the massive Droner. And I've, you've seen this video from a while back. This thing flies fantastic, but you'll see what the weight difference is. Let me just show you what the weight difference is between this 3 inch. It's the same prop, by the way. Same motor, same prop. So the massive drone here is coming at 132.8 grams, so pretty reasonable. And then we'll uh, I'll have to put this on here and then tear this. And we put the Acrobat on here with the same motors, just a, obviously different frame, different setup here. And we're coming in at 197 grams, so yeah, that's a lot heavier. And uh, obviously you're going to get a shorter flight and less performance on that amount of weight. So yeah, I think that um, for this build, I was a little disappointed in the performance. So if you're gonna uh, look at that build setup from the previous video, and I'll put a card in the corner to that uh, build overview, I'd recommend trying some different motors out, some, something bigger. I'll put some suggestions in the, in the description below as to what you might wanna try that could be better. I'm going to actually try a prototype motor, um, a really big one. This is an Emacs prototype motor, 1606 motor, and this is uh, 4,000 kV. So this is going to be a monster. Um, I think it's going to really do well on this setup on 3 inch. That's going to be in a future video because I have to, uh, to swap the motors out and then record the flight demo. But you'll see the flight demo on this motor here, get an idea of what that's like, and you can compare it to the next flight demo of this frame on a much bigger motor, which is what I recommend, something bigger. Uh, I would say higher KV, 1408, 4000 KV, 4100 KV, something like the Tachyon motors, or even like a 1507, 1508 motor. I mean, obviously the amp draw is going to be bigger, but then with the bigger motor, you can then, uh, you'll be able to carry the uh, 850 Tattoo battery, the bigger battery, and uh, have a little bit more flight time, and I'll still have good performance on the bigger motor, I think. So that's my takeaway on this. I'll show you the flight demo from this motor here, and then I'll have a future video on the 1606 motor that just shows you in a future video, so stay tuned for that.